Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Miss Gallagher. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of, of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. This is what you are to teach the brothers, to believe and persuade them to do. Anyone who teaches anything different and does not keep to the sound teaching, which is that of Lord Jesus Christ, the doctrine which is in accordance with the true religion, is simply ignorant and must be full of self-conceit with a craze for questioning everything and arguing about words. All that can come of this is jealousy, contention, abuse, and wicked mistrust of one another, and unending disputes by people who are neither rational nor informed and imagine that religion is a way of making a profit. Religion, of course, does, does bring large profits, but only to those who are content with what they have. We brought nothing into this world, and we take nothing out of it. But as long as we have food and clothing, let us be content with that. People who long to be rich are a prey to temptation. They get trapped into all sorts of foolish and dangerous ambitions, which eventually plunge them into ruin and destruction. The love of money is the root of all evils, and there are some who, pursuing it, have wandered away from the faith and so given their souls any number of fatal wounds. But as a man dedicated to God, you must avoid all that. You must aim to be saintly and religious, filled with faith and love, patient and gentle. Fight the good fight of the faith, and win for yourself the eternal life to which you were called when you made your profession and spoke up for the truth in front of many witnesses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me, men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? How happy are the poor in spirit, the earth is a kingdom of heaven. For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. How happy are the poor in spirit, and the earth is a kingdom of heaven. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Happy are the poor in spirit, the earth is a kingdom of heaven. Though he flattered himself while he lived, 
Men will praise me for doing well for myself, yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light any more. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus made his way through towns and villages preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. With him went the twelve, as well as certain women who had been cured of evil spirits and ailments. Mary sent them the Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, Susanna, and several others who provided for them out of their own resources. The Gospel of the Lord. There is a lot of human wisdom in today's first reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. He quotes an obvious truth. We brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out of it. On that basis, he warns Timothy and his community against longing to be rich. Paul recognizes that the excessive love of money can be the root of a lot of evil and declares in particular that those who set their hearts on wealth tend to wander away from the faith. It is a message that is very much in keeping with Pope Francis's call on us to live simply. In the gospel reading, we hear of a group of women who followed Jesus. These women weren't poor. They had material resources. One of them was the wife of the chief steward of Herod, the Tetrarch of Galilee. Even though they seemed to have been better off than many of their contemporaries, they were not attached to their resources or wealth. The gospel reading says that they provided for Jesus and his disciples out of their resources. Today's readings remind us that it is not what we possess that matters so much, but what we do with what we possess. Like the women, we have all been blessed and graced by the Lord in various ways. Like them, we are called to use our resources, including our material resources, in grateful service to the Lord and his people. Let us pray. Lord our God, men and women are responsible together for the life of faith of our Christian communities. As they were disciples of Jesus and his companions on the road, may they also accompany us today that the church may grow and its faith be alive and imbued with love. Lord, hear us. Together with Mary, we now pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, true, your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as in your dispassion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, and full of your glory, the Son and the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have, <clears throat> that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, <coughs> as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. 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 Amen.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.